Hey, 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 good morning, guys. You know, one of the advantages to taking our course, if you're using Reaper, is you can actually send me your files. And then I can go through and kind of see what you're trying to do. And maybe give you some pointers or advice on maybe how you can correct what you're doing. Or tell you that you're, you know, are in fact doing the right thing. So I've got two folders here. And the first one, this project is for a young lady uh, down in Miami. But you can see all these files that are here. But the most important ones are these MP3s. Okay, when you save your project in Reaper, if you do not render the file, in other words, if you just start a project and you don't render anything, then I'm not going to have any audio to even see what you're doing. So let's go ahead and just open up this project and let's look at it. And give it just a second because what it's doing now is it's coming through and it's actually building these peaks in Reaper. But as you can see, everything comes through just like it's supposed to. Okay, and if you send me these files, it will open up in my software just like it opens up in your software. So, uh, Steve, this is what I was trying to tell you when you have to supply those audio files. And, and I'm going to show you another example here shortly as soon as this finishes loading. Because what I can do now is I can look at the file you're working with. I can put my meters on it. I can see what your input levels are. I can use spectrograms to see where the, the dead space is, you know, where you have total silence. I can see where everything's clipping. I can see, you know, what you've rendered it to, what it looks like. You know, everything else that goes along with mixing and mastering audio. Okay? So that's it right there. Now, I'm going to show you another project. And see, I can play any of this. All I have to do is hit the face bar. Yes. Okay. So the audio comes through, no problem. So we're not going to save that. So let's go ahead and open up Dancer 1. Now, this is the same project that I've been working on. And I simply named it Dancer 1 simply because I've, I've made several changes. And I want to be able to revert back to this part of the file. So when we open this one, notice there's no audio in here. So, you know, th this is what you do, guys. You simply come over there to your project. You're going to select all. You're going to right mouse click and you're going to put send to compressed zip folder. And it's going to do its thing. Now I am running Windows 8. I am running a PC, of course. So this is the process for that. And as you can see, it's putting everything in that file for me. And once it finishes here, I'm gonna show you because I'm going to unzip it, I'm going to open it up, and then I'm gonna show you just exactly what I see in Reaper now. Okay guys, so here we go. Okay, here's, here's the zip folder. So I'm simply going to drag this over to the desktop because I don't need it here. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to hit extract all. I'm going to let it say yes. It's going to go through its little thing that it does. And the reason for the zip file, guys, is just so much smaller. Most email accounts, you can't send more than 50 megs. Okay, so here we go. Here's the same thing we were looking at. So now, you know, you just sent me this file. I simply click on this, and there it is. Now I can go through, and I can see just exactly what you're doing and what you're working with. Okay, guys, so let's look at the second scenario. So now if I come up here to Dancer 1, now you can see all I have is the project file. There's no audio. There's nothing. And if you just send me this file, I'm not going to be able to look at anything. Because right now, this is on my desktop. Now, this is the same project that we were just looking at. I've just done more things to it. Okay? But as you can 
here it still plays but only on my machine in the first hour he made the bear. okay so that's it so when you send me these files make sure that you include the wave files or the mp3s that go with them okay take care god bless and we are out of here